Hey all, Matt here with Bobcat Bonsai, and today we are going to do a little bit more work on my Cotone Ester. Um, it's starting to get a little bit more of its fall colors as you can see. They're turning into more of like a yellowish red color running throughout all the leaves. Getting lots of nice color throughout the tree. So, I'm going to real quick before I get you set all the way up, I'm gonna actually trim off some of this plastic on here so we can get a better view of the trunk line. So I'm gonna trim that up, get you set up, and we will get to it. All right, see you in a second. All right, so we got her all trimmed up around the edge here. And we got the you set up. So as I was trimming this back, I saw this nasty root, and this thing is big and thick and it's running like down inside here it's so, um, about that thick inside there that is a spring issue and it is not going to be a fun spring issue at all but we're going to start off here and i left this branch originally because i didn't want to do that big cut but today i'm going to end up taking it off so i'm going to bring it over to here and I am still gonna leave it coming out here because this the, this branch has no leaves on it. The buds don't look bad and I'm hoping it stays alive, but just in case it doesn't, I may end up having to keep this branch in hopes that it, I can get some kind of back budding out of this one. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a little cut right here. And I might actually try to get some cuttings off of this piece here then. Uh, the bottom I'll leave alone because if I do end up keeping it I may even bring that out. So we got that nice little cut there. Now I'm just going to come in and just clip a little bit here. Just in hopes to use this running out as the main leader. So I'm going to throw a little bit of cut paste on here. That was way more than what I needed out. So we'll just get a little bit on there. And the rest, we'll just hide underneath the bench. Nobody will see it under there but me later when I go to sit down and it gets on my pants. Alright, so next one take out here. I'm going to end up taking quite a bit off this top piece right here so I'm gonna actually take it oh I got a new wire today two and a half millimeter three millimeter and four millimeter so I'm pretty excited about that but off topic there I'm gonna pull that off so we can have a look here so this is now that lower branch we got rid of that big curve that was running off of it uh, then from there I know we're try we were debating on the leader in the last video, but for the time being, I don't see too much of a purpose in keeping anything further than here. But I'm going to end up trimming up to here anyway, just that it's got that little bit of budding that's coming forward. So we'll just rough cut this one. We're not going to take this one back too far. So we're just going to nip it there. Maybe I'll work on some cuttings with that piece too. I don't know. We'll just give it all a go. So, I know it's putting quite the nasty cut there, but I'm not overly concerned about it because I am going to end up getting rid of that later. I just wanted more space to work with here because what I had just wasn't going wasn't gonna to do it. So now that that's off there, I can sit down. And work with you guys again um i don't think that little guy's going to take too much of a force here so i'm actually going to reach behind here and grab a piece of two millimeter wire and this guy i'm pretty much just letting grow it's just there in hopes that we're going to get some kind of back to work with 
Um, the only reason I'm going to be wrapping down through here, I'm actually not going to wrap down through there. I'm going to just take and grab the two branches I want individually here. So I'm going to take this piece, wrap it up, avoiding the little buds that are on there in hopes that this branch will make it. I really hope it does because this other branch is so thick. Probably should grab my little wire snips before I got all that moved around there. All right. So I got that one there. I'm actually gonna take a full loop here since I'm not doing any wiring on the trunk. And then I will grab into this little branch over here. So this little branch that I just put the wire on is not looking promising itself. It actually looks like that branch is not doing so well. So what am I learning today? Things aren't doing too well. <laughs> all right, so all I'm gonna do here is just bring it down a little bit and then I'm gonna work on bringing it to the front here and then back up. That's it, just in case this branch it does make it and does great awesome if it doesn't then there's always this one right there but for now that's what we've got to work with uh, this one I'm actually gonna bring back towards the back a little bit here so we're gonna bring it back and then down and then back towards the front and up so running off of that is a smaller branch there that I'm going to need a little bit more wire for. So I'm just going to come from underneath here and wrap it around. Now this little branch is young and it looks really good. So we're going to be really careful here as we're getting the wire on. So since we brought that one down into the back, I'm going to bring this one down. I'm actually going to take that back to the back a little bit and then back forwards to kind of make its own little pad right into there. So this one, we're going to bring a little bit more forwards here. So if you remember from the last video, I was talking about how all the branches are basically just stacked, all running up one side and all running up the other side. So what I'm doing right now by moving things forward and backwards is I am trying to create, I'm trying to create a balance so it's more of a 3D effect rather than just a little individual one. So let me hit up some wire on these branches right here and then once I get wire onto those, I'll get the camera back on. But for the time being, I am going to end up nipping off right here and getting rid of that one. I'm going to leave that alone. And I'll leave that alone. Is there anything else that I want to knock off here real quick? Mm. No, for now that's it. I'm just going to work on some wiring. So let me get that wired up and I'll get back to you. Alright, so 
we got quite a bit of wire that I threw on here. Um, you'll notice there's no wire on any of this. I'm actually going to let this all grow till spring and then I'm going to cut it and use it as cuttings in the spring. I'm going to end up cutting it all the way back to here. Uh, this branch right here. So let's follow it here. Here's the trunk line. It's running up, 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 over. Then this branch comes in. That branch is actually going to become my new trunk line. So I'm just going to bring it up 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 and we've got lots of nice little movement so since it was kicking out that way now I want to begin to bring it back in and so I think since it's leaning back so far I'm actually gonna grab and bring it back forward here forward and then down and I'm giving it a little twist at the same time to try to feed this stuff back to the top. Now, I probably won't use that much of this later on. As far as what it goes as the apex. But I want to feed as much up as possible. Just to give us as much health as possible come springtime. So I'm just going to take it back up that way. And then these ones that are faced upwards, I'm just going to come back and bring them down all the way up top. So the reason I'm doing that is just to make sure that come spring when everything grows out, it gets good, good coverage right there, but the trunk line can still flow. So I will also be cutting off from right there. I touched my cut paste that wasn't dry yet. And even though we will be cutting it to here, I did leave this branch just in case. And I added a little bit of wire. So for the time being, I'm just going to bring this one down. I'm going to bring the bottom one. I'm actually going to bring this bottom one up. And then in. And then down. And back up again. Just a little bit of movement on that one. And then for this one right here, I'm also going to bring that one up over no oh, I got that cut paste on myself just like I said I would now I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit begin to bring it back down and then back up through right there so that's just a little bit of movement there on that back piece um for now really what we're doing is we're just trying to open the branches up and begin to get things to grow in the manner that I want them to. So this is one of my few branches that is actually a back branch. So my goal is to bring it as much to the back as possible. So I'm going to bring it back. We're going to twist it just a little bit to get that one up. Then we're going to bring it down. Up. I want to get this twist back here. And just continue it back upwards and just give it a little bit of motion at the same time so that's my main back branch so since we're back here right now um this was the first branch that we had worked on well one of the first two and this is one of the other ones i did add wire then to this one right here in hopes to get some kind of movement out of this one as well. Also in hopes that it stays alive so that we can get the movement into it. So that's just my overall goal there with this. Just try and get a little bit of movement. And then we'll see which one of those branches wants to do what. So let's bring it back around to our front right in here. I added a big wire onto here. So the reason for that was so that I can work on getting some movement into this just in case I do have to keep it, which is not 
a positive for me. I really do not want to keep that, but just in case. So I'm going to bring this little guy up and then twist it just a hair so that we get it. I'm actually going to bring that one back towards the front just a little. So then I need to get a hold of this one right here. I just really want to get that one to go down and then bring it in. So now that I brought that down and in, I think I'm actually going to take this one up and then down. And I am. I'm actually going to let this grow in right here with the trunk. I know that's probably not going to be the popular opinion of what I should do with it, but that is what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm going to add another piece of wire here real quick though. Sorry, I really thought I had it all sorted out before I turned back on the camera, but I did not. So I'm just coming down into here, getting this wire on. I'm going to get a quick snip real quick. Boop. All right, so give me one second and I'll be back with you. All right, sorry about that. I'm back. My son was letting me know that he was taking off real quick. So I appreciate that he does that for me. So I had to stop, talk to him. He's not ready to introduce himself, introduce himself to you all yet. So if he ever feels up to it, I'll let him. If not, that's also fine. But back to this little branch right here that I was just putting that wire on. So since we brought it down and inward, I'm now gonna take it back up and outward. And I'm actually gonna swing it one last time back in. But I want, I actually want this little guy up, down, and really pull it in there. Yes, I like it. That's what I was going for right there. Okay, so we've tackled this branch, this branch, that branch. Do I want to tackle this branch or that one over there, which has a lot to deal with? Um, let's take this one that doesn't have as much. So first off, this one's coming down, that's going up. I want to give this a little twist. So now we're flat, which is great. That's what I want there. Remember, this one's going to the back first. So I'm going to bring this one to the front. And then I'm going to kick it back. And then we'll do a little bit down here and begin to bring it back up. On this little guy right here. Let's bring it back up a little bit more there. Yes. So we've got a real steady slope down and then it's going to kick up. And we'll bring that back. Bring it back this way. Just a hair. Come on. There we go. Not very much movement in that branch at all. Let's see. Yes, that is better. Okay, so now with this one right here, I'm actually gonna continue this one in a downward pattern and then begin to bring it up. Will I keep this entire length here? No, but for now, it's all wired up so I can play with it as I wish. So I'm going to bring that one in, down, in, there we go, up, bring it back out, just a hair. All right. I know, it looks goofy, but I think it'll actually end up being pretty cool. So we're, that's all we're going to do with that branch. Remember that we will be losing all of this right here. Um, this thing's just so stiff it's really hard to work with. I can't really bend it without just snapping, so it's really hard. But 
just imagine that this is gone and this is gone and then you're looking at this apex through it that's all i can really say for now is what's going on here so all this just ignore this as well let's just hook that up there with that other branch there we go so that's out of the way so all we have left to do here is this one and this one right here so let's tackle this guy so this one we took backwards this one we brought forwards this one I was pretty sure I wanted to be coming forwards but I had of it backwards so that's not right it's forwards down bring it in bring it up I just messed up everything here, friends. That's okay, though. That is okay. Let's see what we can do here with this one. just a little bit of different movement here all right I'm happy now okay so now onto this guy right here so we're gonna bring this one in we're gonna try to bring it down So, I'm just going to put a little hole right there real quick. Um, let me grab a piece of scrap wire. Great, great, great. Okay, so, I didn't actually wrap this around the branch itself. It's wrapped around a little piece of wire that is wrapped around the branch. So, my overall goal here is nothing more than to just get... A little bit of a pull downward so that's all so that will be the pole that I wanted right there so that works for me I'm actually gonna to begin to bring this branch back over this way and then I want that one to go up and twist just a just a hair but not there right there yes that's where I wanted it okay so that's up and then we're gonna drip back down and then come up again right here at the base so that's good this one I actually want to come up just right into here like this okay so all we're doing is trying to just build another level just a little bit higher and then i'm going to bring this one in just a hair and then right back out down this back one I actually like the back one the way it's running, so I'm going to actually just bring it down. Just a little bit like that. Just need that one to hold just a little tighter than what it is right now, because it's not holding exactly how I want it to. Could be because I used too loose of a wire. Or it could be because I keep moving it. Um, so we dealt with this one. No, we didn't. We dealt with the middle one. We didn't deal with that one yet on the inside. 
Oh, cut paste all over my pants. I knew it was gonna happen. Okay. So for this little guy, we've got our downward. So with this one, I'm going to continue the downward slope. And right here is where I'm going to kick it up and bring it back into the inside. And then back out. Like so. Just a little bit there. So then on this back one, we really need to get a little bit more of a twist there so I took and I twisted backwards a little bit so I'm going to bring it back and then bring it in so that's about it I know that was a very long video um I'm going to take you for a little aerial tour here to go around the tree. So we've got the front here. Now coming around the side, we're going to be getting rid of all this. So the side view will end up coming up, over, and run up and through here. This, this whole piece right here is going to be gone. We're going to do our best to get a nice clean cut that can heal over quickly and carry on with itself. Um, we really need some branches to bud out towards the back because it's really bald just back in here. I may have to just give this little guy just a little bit more of a tweak here. And tweak this one back just to try to get a little bit something going on here. Sorry, my hands were all kinds of in your way right there. I may even bring this one down and then up just a little bit steeper than where I had it just so that we have a little bit more movement to the back. That's my overall goal here is I just want to get a little bit more movement to the back. All right, so I know this was a long one. I tried to make it short by doing some of the wiring in between. I hope you enjoyed it though. I had a really good time playing with this little guy. This is... So, if you remember from the first video, I bought this on clearance. And all I did was just a little bit of trimming back on the branches. Just to try to get it back to shape a little bit. Not to shape for bonsai, but just smaller so I could actually work with it inside my greenhouse. So, we took it back that far and it worked out. Now we have it wired up and things are looking good. I'm hoping this spring things go really good because I feel like I can get this into the shape of a bonsai tree rather quickly. And I think it'll actually look really nice when it's all said and done. I know I have a ways to go into trimming because I need to get it back into that triangular shape. But until I take off that next big cut, there's no to me there's no point in trying to get it into a triangle before I take off that next big cut because there's nothing there that I can really work with it's just going to be it's everywhere it's everywhere so if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoy my content please subscribe to my channel because it would greatly help me out and if you want to be notified every time I release a new video, please hit the bell notification and they will let you know as soon as I release one. Thank you for watching.